Good morning, everybody. Today is August 3rd, 2022, and this is The Golfing Lender. Today, I wanna to talk to you about self-employed income and its relationship with mortgage financing. If you are someone who is self-employed and ever tried to obtain traditional mortgage financing, well, chances are you've probably encountered some things that just didn't make any sense to you. I wanna to talk to you today about why that might be and offer some potential solutions that could overcome your concerns. The underlying problem for you as a business owner is that it always makes sense for you to write off as many expenses as possible because, well, frankly, the structure of our nation's tax code generates the incentives for you to reduce your taxable income exposure. Well, the way mortgage guidelines work is in the exact opposite way. We want to see that bottom line taxable income, and the higher that number is, the better off you are. And the reason why those guidelines are written like that is because investors want to see steady and stable income. The key word there is stable. Stable income means that a given loan has less risk associated with it. And inversely, if income is not stable, then there's inherently more risk for the investor. A great example of this scenario would be, let's say a real estate developer that sold an asset two years ago and they just made a ton of money. And then the next year, last year, they started a new project and only incurred costs for the entire year. And so they reported negative income for the year. Well, that doesn't look good on paper and thus likely won't meet traditional financing guidelines. You can clearly see the instability nature of that scenario. Even if you were to sell the property years later and make a ton of money, it's not something that's 100% guaranteed. Now, in a situation like that, you could at least explore non-traditional financing options that at least help you secure a loan for the purchase. This would be things like a bank statement loan or what I call a low doc loan, but these options are expensive and so you will have a need to refinance down the road. Traditional financing will always, always have better pricing and lower interest rates, thus providing you with better monthly cash flow, and that gives you more time to focus your efforts on growing your business. So to prepare for this, you're gonna to wanna to put your mortgage lender in touch with your accountant immediately. Let them be your team and your advocates for getting you to the closing table under traditional financing. Have your lender and your accountant team up to game plan your tax preparation for future use. This will be critical in developing the best strategy and optimizing your taxable income. Another key feature as it relates to documenting your business's income and where some investors may only look to see is if you've been self-employed for five or more years and depending on your overall risk profile, then you may only have a need to provide one year's worth of personal and business tax returns. This could be critical in developing the strategy for your taxable income. Now, in the scenario that I described earlier, this still may not work because you're not likely to sell a real estate development every single year, which means that the income is not stable. And so an underwriter may request additional documentation, which could jeopardize your approval. See, there's lots of nuances to self-employed income, so definitely be sure to reach out at the number below on your screen to see how we can get together and come up with a game plan to optimize your mortgage opportunities. Signing off for now, it's the golfing lender that you know, like, and trust. Be sure to like and subscribe for weekly mortgage tips. Bye, guys.